Raiders. Um, why, why this uh, why this job? Why Arkansas? Well, I think it's one of the best jobs in the uh, country. Obviously, the uh, facilities, who you're working for, um, fan base, tradition. I can go on and on if you want me to keep giving reasons, but. Um, you know, and obviously the power of, of the SEC right now. Um, again, I think it's one of the best jobs in the uh, entire country, and so does my family. How, how have the first couple of uh, the several weeks and months been for you? Busy, um, but it's been fun. You know, we've uh, jumped right into recruiting our own players and had a few practices with them. They're home right now for a little bit of a vacation before we start summer school here on Tuesday. And we'll get back to work, and some of our new players that we've signed will be coming and joining us as well. Has there been any early big transitions from being in Nevada to being in Arkansas? Anything, you know, I don't know. It's a lot, be, lot better food. Um, no, there's, I think any time you make a, you know, a career change, there's, there's always a lot of changes. Obviously trying to put together a coaching staff, which we'll have complete sometime in the next day or two. Um, and then just trying to get to know your own players and re-recruiting them and making them feel comfortable and then trying to you know implement your own game plan so to speak as far as culture goes. Returning players, uh, how have they accepted you so far? How have they adjusted? To an they're all they're all back, I guess. So that's a good. So thing. far, so good. Huh? Um, no, it's been good. They, uh, you know, we only had seven practices where we got together and. Uh, the guys have been great. You know, we've got a lot of stuff we want to try to get done on the floor, but just as importantly, stuff off the floor where we got to try to create some team bonding things and, and get to know people, you know, each other off the court as as importantly as, as the X and O stuff. Do you have any more roster spots to fill for the upcoming season? We are right now. We're done, but um, you know, I think in, in college sports, you're always looking to improve your roster at, at all times. How do you try and get this program? back to what it was, and not even just get it back to what it was, but not just make the tournament, but make it hard. I mean, the one thing that I've learned, you know, at other places is just, you know, you got to get in the tournament to to advance, and, and uh, it's hard to make a tournament. It's a lot harder than the fans and general public, you know, think it is, but once you get into the tournament, you, you know, you want your team to be peaking at the right time. You want your guys to be fresh mentally and physically, um, and if you are in that situation you, you, you can advance and uh, we certainly feel like you know we have a program that that should make tournaments and, and and once you get in there i mean you're expected to advance as well it's such a big and uh, proud fan base is that part of what makes this job i guess more fun and challenging for you uh, taking a job like this with the fan base being the way it is yeah i mean i think that when you look at the you know the the, the, the entire state you know the the, the the hogs are the are the there's no pro there's no pro teams in the state of Arkansas and, and obviously um, you know the 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 brand goes uh, pretty far and, and there's a lot of enthusiasm for all sports uh, at Arkansas and that's a really neat thing I mean to see the enthusiasm enthusiasm at a baseball game and to hear what football games are like and then obviously you know having played in Bud Walton as an opponent. Um, you know, I know the excitement that can be generated there. You know how you mentioned the SEC. What sort of challenge does it be, uh, you know, being in this conference? Yeah, I mean, I think that, um, you know, there's a lot of challenges, a lot of athletes, a lot of talent on the rosters, and then you talk about the coaching right now. Probably as, as good of conference from a coaching standpoint as any in the country. I think it's it's got the best uh, – coaches from top to bottom in, uh, of any conference in in, uh, in college basketball right now. And also not too far, you know, Fayetteville and Memphis. What do you think about what Penny's been able to do here in, in the city? And obviously, how tough does it make it for you to try and recruit around here? I mean, obviously, Penny, you know, has done a great job recruiting. And um, he and Mike Miller together are a great team. And I was fortunate enough to rebound a lot of penny shots when I was with the Orlando Magic and he was a player and and having been a former assistant with the Grizzlies and knowing Mike Miller I mean both those guys I'm happy for their success but there's only 13 scholarships so there's plenty of players in the area so is recruiting Arkansas going to be a priority for you as well I, you know I think that uh, you know you, you always want to recruit your 
natural surrounding area, anywhere you can drive to from the state of Arkansas to Dallas to Memphis, all those areas are going to be really important uh, for us, not only right now, but three, four, five years down the road as well. How about uh, you know, this particular area? You mentioned Memphis, but as Penny has been able to be successful getting good talent here, there's a lot to be had here. How about Midtown? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I just know from being here in the past that there's a lot of great players year after year. And then you think back to, you know, when Arkansas was really good, a lot of it started with some Memphis players, if you look back in, in the history of the program. So we want to recruit this area, and, and we got to recruit anywhere that we can drive to, really. How is the Muscleman uh, style of basketball going to mesh with the SEC this year? I mean, I don't know how quickly we can you know, play the exact way we want to play. I think it's, you got to take small steps and your personnel has to fit what you want to do. And, and obviously, uh, you got to try to play to a system or a style that fits your roster. And, uh, so I'm, I'm assuming we'll be a little bit different year three and four than we are this year. But, um, you know, I think that there's a lot of new coaches in the SEC. So, that, you know, it's, you got to play your brand of basketball and, and try to win as many games as you can. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a Grizzly fan, and um, you know, there's a big difference between jumping from two or even picking at three or four. There's, you know, the the, the the draft pick at one or two can be, you know, can change the complexion of an organization really quick. You want John Morant? I would go him, but I have no say. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. So funny. Wow. That's that was classic. what. 30 years ago? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Whatever you want, whatever you normally write, no hogs, whatever you say. That's so, that's a funny start. Thank you. I'll go. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Take care. Let's go.